Another night of emotional testimony at the State House on legislation to expand the civil statute of limitations for child sex abuse survivors. Tonight, the Senate Judiciary Committee took up the legislation. Back in February, survivors from across the country testified in front of the House Judiciary Committee. Now, some of those victims returned tonight determined to move this bill forward. Iowa Dis News reporter Sheena Lashuto is live in the newsroom now with the new details. Well, the House Judiciary Committee decided to hold this bill for further study, but that means they could still consider it later on in the session. Now, tonight, one by one, several survivors came forward testifying, hoping it's the last time they have to do so, urging lawmakers to push this bill to the full floor for a full vote as soon as possible. You know, as a Catholic family, Representative Carol Hagan McEntee sits along her sister, Dr. Ann Hagan Webb, both testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Like, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in the shoes of these victims. McEntee is the lead sponsor of the bill pushing to extend the civil statute of limitations for child sex abuse cases in Rhode Island from seven years after a victim turns 18 to 35. Senator Donna Nesselbush is the sponsor of the bill in the Senate. I will not give that testimony again now. I simply can't. That fact is the essence of my testimony tonight. Dr. Ann Hagen Webb testified before the House Judiciary Committee just a few weeks ago, telling her story as a survivor of sexual abuse. Five decades later, she says sharing the details still hurt. I felt exposed and vulnerable for days. Now, multiply that by two or 10 or 100. That's what it feels like for an abuse survivor to report their abuse for the first time. The Diocese of Providence did not send anyone to testify at the hearing, but did tell Eyewitness News they submitted a statement opposing the bill in its current form, writing in part, it complicates and impedes the administration of justice and does little to protect victims. In fact, this bill as written could make the pursuit of justice and healing more difficult, not less. So at this point, committees on both the House and Senate side have heard testimony, but right now it's unclear what the timeline looks like moving forward. So far, there is no vote scheduled. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.